What's up guys, welcome back. If I had a cool British accent, I would use it right here, but I don't, so I won't. Today you're in for a treat though, we're making fish and chips. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell and enable notifications as well. All right, let's get in there and make it happen. Check me out displaying my catching ability there. We're gonna peel up these two russet potatoes, about a pound and a half or so total. Break out your peeler and make sure that they're nice and clean also. These are essentially french fries, but across the pond they call them chips, so that's what we're going with today. Tried to be cute with the spin, that didn't really work out for me. But what is cute is this awesome fry press that I have right here. Now if you don't have this gadget in your kitchen, no big deal, just break out a sharp knife and slice these into french fry size pieces. I've just had this thing sitting in my closet for a long time and I figured I'd put it to use today. There we go. Run it under some cold water. And you wanna run that water over the fries until it starts to run clean and clear. That way you know that there's no dirt or anything on your, on your potatoes. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add a cup of flour to two separate mixing bowls. Into one mixing bowl, we're gonna add a tablespoon or two of cornstarch just to make sure the fish is nice and extra crunchy. That one is gonna be the one that we're gonna use for our batter. We're gonna season that up with salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, maybe a little sassone if you want. So again, one mixing bowl is gonna be for the batter. We're gonna add some dark beer to that. The other one is just gonna to be to dredge the cod fillets. There we go, give it a nice little mix. Make sure everything is well incorporated. All those seasonings are mixed well in there with that flour. And in goes half of a beer. The other half, of course, you should drink. Any beer would work here. I like to use like a dark ale, but again, whatever beer you like. If you're trying to avoid alcohol, no big deal. You can use seltzer water, anything with a little carbonation. As you can see, my batter was a little thin there, so I added a, about a tablespoon or so of additional flour to thicken it up. You want it to be about the thickness of pancake batter. Here we have some beautiful looking cod fillets. This is about a pound and a half of fish. We're gonna slice them into uh, more manageable sized pieces. Cod is traditionally used for this recipe, but if you have a different fish that you like, go ahead and use it. We're gonna season them up, keep it nice and simple, a little salt and pepper because there's plenty of flavor going on in here. There we go, make sure you season both sides nice and even. Looking good. Next, we're gonna fill up our deep fryer with about a gallon or so of peanut oil or vegetable oil, whatever you prefer. While we're waiting for that to get up to 350 degrees, we're gonna make a quick tartar sauce by adding a little mayo, some sweet relish, some lemon juice, about half a lemon worth. A little Worcestershire sauce. A pinch of sugar and a pinch of salt and pepper. Get in there with your whisk and mix everything together. As always guys, the specific measurements and ingredients for all of these recipes can be found in the description box below. Just went in with a little bit of fresh dill. Dill plays very nicely with fish and it also tastes good in tartar sauce. Looking for about 330 degrees on the oil for our first fry of the french fries or chips. We're gonna fry these twice, similar to my wing method. This helps to cook the inside of the fry. Make sure the inside is cooked, then we're gonna take them out, increase the temperature, and then flash fry them so the exterior is nice and crunchy. So that's how we're looking. You wanna fry them at that 325 to 330 degree mark for about you know six to eight minutes. Then we're going to remove them to a wire rack, as you see here, and increase that temperature anywhere from 375 to 400 so we can flash fry them and get them nice and crunchy. If you don't feel like messing with this, you can always buy the store-bought stuff that are frozen and just fry those up how you normally would. There we go. We hit about 380 on the oil. We're going to drop these fries one last time until they're nice and golden brown. Nothing like a good homemade french fry though, guys. If you haven't tried it before, go ahead and give it a try. Let me know in the comments if you've ever made your own fries or if you're one of those folks that just buy them in the bag. I'm not here to judge you. Honestly, I've never met a fry I didn't like. 
So again, about three to five minutes or so in that super hot oil, anywhere from 375 to 400 degrees until they're nice and golden brown and crispy, as you see here. Then we're gonna drain them on a wire rack and immediately hit them with a little kosher salt. That way the salt really sticks to those fries. Those look absolutely delicious. Now it's time to fry up some cod. So we're gonna take our cod and go right into that plain flour that we seasoned a little bit. And from that, we're gonna go onto a plate. Make sure you bread all of your cod fillets nice and evenly in that flour. Then we're gonna dunk it in our batter and drop it in some 350 degree oil. Looking good, make sure you get some even coverage. You definitely wanna make sure that your oil is at least 350 degrees here, that's super important. You wanna make sure that that batter gets nice and crispy as soon as it hits that oil. You also wanna be very careful to make sure nothing sticks to the bottom of the skillet and they don't stick together. They are prone to do that when you use a batter like this. So you may have to move them around a little bit. Show them who's boss. There we go. Looking for a beautiful golden brown. Fish really fries pretty quickly, so we're looking anywhere from you know four to seven minutes depending on how large your cod fillets are. These are pretty big, so they took a couple extra minutes. But all is well nonetheless. You guys are gonna love this recipe. If you've never had fish and chips, definitely give this one a try. I also have a beer battered fish taco recipe, kind of similar to this same method, a little bit different flavor profile, equally delicious. Enough running my mouth, it's time to plate this thing up and get you guys some money shots. Add a heaping mound of fries that nobody on earth could eat except for my wife, she loves french fries. And then we're gonna pile on the fried cod fillets. Oh man, look at that. A little fresh chopped parsley or some dill. Nice little bowl of tartar sauce, some lemon for garnish. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. And you know I gotta try this. This is how I do mine. This is definitely not traditional, but everything gets a little bit of Old Bay in my house, followed by a few dashes of hot sauce, cause why the hell not? A little fresh lemon juice to the party. And now I can give it a taste test. Nice and crispy, beautiful flaky fish. Way too big of a bite. I'm gonna get tartar sauce all over my mouth. Make sure you make fun of me in the comments on that. But my friends, that is my fish and chips recipe. I hope you enjoy. If you do, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.